Paula Bradley has sought leave to present a public petition in accordance with Standing Order 22. The member will have up to three minutes to speak. I call Ms Paula Bradley. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I welcome the opportunity today uh, to bring this petition to the House. Mr Speaker, general practice is one of the key bedrocks of every community in Northern Ireland and is the first point of contact for 90 per cent of health and social care related needs. However, general practice is now in crisis due to an excessive workload, diminishing workforce and inadequate funding. Mr Speaker, the petition being submitted here today has been signed by over 30,000 patients from right across Northern Ireland and is calling on the Minister for Health to ensure the survival of general practice throughout Northern Ireland by investing 10% of the Northern Ireland healthcare budget on a safe, sustainable GP service for patients and funding for general practice, which has significantly reduced despite the growing demand. Our population, Mr Speaker, is increasing with a greater proportion of those people living longer and patients with more complex and lifelong conditions. Poor investment needs to, or proper investment needs to be made if general practice is to survive. At present, we do not have enough GPs to service the population here in Northern Ireland, and this petition calls on the Minister to increase training numbers immediately to 111. The increase from 65 to 85 training places this year is certainly very welcome, but does not go far enough to meet the demand. A quarter of Northern Ireland GPs are over 55 and due to retire in the very near future, with not enough GPs coming through to replace them. Inevitably, we already are seeing practices collapsing. I know during the summer we saw not only practices within our rural communities, and there are other reasons for that because we can't get GPs to go out as far as the rural communities, but now also in our urban communities. We saw a large practice in Bangor close only in the summer uh, as a result of lack of GPs. And if this is allowed to continue, it puts pressure on surrounding practices and the real threat that many people will be left without access to GPs. The petition also calls for reduced bureaucracy and a better improved IT system because GPs want to spend as much time as possible caring and providing for their <coughs> patients. This petition comes after the release of BMA Northern Ireland's report into the crisis in primary care, which starkly illustrates the pressures on GPs. The report revealed that 74% of practices here say they are struggling and nearly 10% barely coping. Mr. Speaker, action needs to be taken immediately to address these issues. I invite Ms. Bradley to bring her petition to the table. I will forward a copy of the petition to the Minister of Health and indeed to the Health Committee. Thank you.